Remember when you were a child sitting at your parents' knee, how you heard the story of Hanukkah and of Judah Maccabee, of the miracle in the temple and the victory that was won, of the heroine named Hannah and of her seven sons. I remember pondering as a girl how one survives such loss. And when I became a mother, well, the true meaning came across. And I thought of another Hana, and of the seven that she did raise, and her love that made her send them off to other passageways, to lands across the ocean to make their dreams come true. And if she'd ever see them, well, she hoped, but never knew. Think of their determination and the hardships that they faced in the strength of their convictions our heritage is traced. Abe, Jaime, Sam, and Meyer settled in the Middle West where their resilience and religious faith were put to a hard test. They built businesses and families unselfishly donated their time and money as a Jewish community was created. Edgar settled in Cuba, where for years there she did dwell until she became a Zionist and she moved to Israel. Nathan and his brother Moses ended up in Mexico. Moses stayed there, but Nathan moved his family to El Paso. Hannah's seven children flourished, and it should give us a start. They kept faith, and they kept family always closest to their hearts. Saul, your father was the glue that bound the family back then. And now it is your daughter who's gathered us once again. We're assembled here to honor this special day with Saul and to celebrate the Sherwin bond that binds us one and all. For Hannah's seven children left us with a legacy that makes each one of us a leaf upon the Sherwin family tree. Their dedication forms the roots that anchor to the ground, and from their love of family, a lesson can be found. Honor God and honor family and have the courage to explore. But on those paths, remember all the ones who came before. My father was very, very proud. He told me that uh, in Poland, women did not learn how to read. And he was really proud that his mother um, could read the Hebrew prayer book. And um, he had this. It was the only thing he had from his mother. And he would take it out at Passover. And he and my Uncle Meyer would do the whole Seder from this book. And then it would go back into this cedar box. And uh, when he knew that there would probably be no more Passover seders. He was dying of cancer. He and my brother Joe came over to the house and, um, and my father gave it to me. My name is Anne Rachel. I was named for Han Rochel, his mother. I could not read the Hebrew inscription on the front and uh, you were very kind to translate that for us. It says, uh, in memory of our mother, Hannah Rochel, and it is uh, the year that she died. It was her prayer book. It, it's in need of some repair. But I know my father would be very, very happy to know that it is with the family archives here. That's all. Thank you.